Welcome back to The Loading Screen. I'm your host Keith with WCCF Tech TV where we try to bring you big news in a small package and today's big news is DLSS is now working its way into the Unreal Marketplace, meaning you no longer have to go and request approval to utilize DLSS 2.0 in games. It'll now be available within the marketplace for the Unreal Engine. Let's get that loaded up and find out why that's such a big deal. NVIDIA DLSS, the company's deep learning super sampling solution, was first introduced in the GeForce RTX 2000 series back in 2018. And it's now a plug-in for Unreal Engine 4.26 through the marketplace. Now the first version of DLSS wasn't exactly a huge success as you might recall. While it provided a performance boost over native rendering, the image reconstruction technique also had limitations such as how long it took to train and the fact that the results were not that great quality wise. Now DLSS 2.0 on the other hand has solved both of those problems. The AI is trained generically while the quality is greatly improved thanks to multi-frame super resolution approach where DLSS 2.0 accumulates data on multiple frames similar to temporal and anti-aliasing, on some occasions we've seen DLSS provide better quality than native rendering. Now it's not surprising that developers have accelerated their support for DLSS since the release of version 2.0 and in the last few months we've seen numerous games come on board and upcoming games are getting it as well. Now, the reality is being able to have this in the marketplace rather than going through NVIDIA should really accelerate the adoption rate and put NVIDIA in a really good position going forward. Their competitor AMD has yet to bring their Fidelity FX Super Resolution to market and that is going to be their competitor for their latest generation of cards. However, it doesn't exist quite yet and things like DLSS are retroactively supported on the RTX 2000 series. Now, you will need an RTX card to take advantage of this, so don't expect it to show up on the GTX line of cards, but it is going to be really neat to see what developers do with this. Could we see this backported into games that were not originally planned to support DLSS? It's possible. It's all up to the developer at this point, so it'll be quite interesting to see what they do with it. Let us know what you think about this one down in the comment section below, or are you holding out for AMD to bring their Fidelity Super Resolution? Fidelity FX Super Resolution to market and see what it offers before you make a choice. Let us hear it down in the comment section below. Really would like to hear your thoughts on this one. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.